Hi, this is Dion Taylor. I am a senior consultant here at CBiz MHM. And today I want to talk a little bit about business process flows. Uh, as you can see, we have that big bar on top of our form that will kind of guide our users through different phases of a lead qualification process, for example, or maybe you're using it for your opportunities. However, I've had some customers that are actually asking me like, well, how do I turn that off? How can I get rid of that big bar? I really don't want to use that yet. Maybe I'm going to use that in the phase two of my Microsoft Dynamics implementation. All right. So let's just navigate first to the location of those business process flows. So I'm just going to navigate to settings and I'm already here on my processes that's what I wanted to go to and then if I actually drop down here I will be able to look at my business process flows and that will show me all the business process flows that are currently installed <clears throat> so we see here the lead to opportunity sales process and that was what we were just looking at so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna deactivate that particular business process flow now if we navigate back to our lead, so let's just go ahead and go to sales and let's just open that same lead, we see that this really doesn't do anything. We do get a warning that tells us that the business process flow for this particular record has been deactivated, but I want to get rid of that bar up top of the screen. <clears throat> so the best way to do that, uh, let me just show you we're going to navigate back to settings and we're going to navigate back to processes. So the best way to do that is first of all you're going to open up the particular business process flow that is the out of the box process flow and for leads it's the lead to opportunity sales process and we're going to make a copy of this business process flow. All we have to do is we're just going to click save as and this will create a copy as you can see right here of the process flows uh, process flow I should say that you just uh, click save as on so I can just go ahead and I can close out of that and I can close out of this one as well for now so now we see that I made a copy of my lead to opportunity sales process and this is in a draft status I am not activating this business process flow now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to delete the original lead to opportunity sales process business flow and that will remove that bar from the lead form. So let's just go back to my lead and open up that same lead and as you can see the bar has been removed from the lead form. Now if you want to turn on those business process flows again all you have to do is navigate to processes and activate the business process flow. Now if I navigate to my lead I will see that the bar is back and it tells me on the bottom that a new business process flow was assigned to this particular record. If you have any questions in regards to the video you just watched or about Microsoft Dynamics CRM, feel free to either send me an email to dtaylor at cbiz.com or call me directly by dialing 561-922-6103. Thank you so much.